got an update on the tropics here in the Atlantic on our Saturday morning. A low risk of development according to the National Hurricane Center. Now given this a 10 to 20 percent chance off of the east coast of the Carolinas but moving towards the north and east. This is all associated with this broad trough that we've been watching bringing rainfall across coastal areas of Carolinas and yes uh, scattered showers and uh, strong and severe thunderstorm potential for northeastern Florida southeastern Georgia but that same trough is extended towards northeast with this area moving over the Gulf Stream heading out to sea could become a subtropical low and thus it would probably get a name now i don't think a hurricane is likely and even if we did see this develop into something strong it would be moving away out to sea so not really a big threat but still could kick up some uh, rough surf for some of our coastal areas and even cold over towards uh bermuda as well now i do want to pull back kind of the broader picture though because uh this time of year as we head into august we start to push our focus out towards the main formation region with these waves coming off of the west coast of africa and at the same time the bermuda high starts the weekend too so what we're seeing is an increased chance of storms developing moving through more moisture-rich environments and starting to bring that increased threat of tropical systems. Now, as we go ahead through August, that is typically what does happen. There's no surprise here. This is actually the climatology for the month of August. And as we look ahead and through the mid portions of August, according to the Climate Prediction Center, they're saying that there is a low chance of tropical development in that area through mid August. August. So this isn't the current storm. This would be looking ahead at a potential another storm uh, popping off out here. In fact, this is the ECMWF, the SpaghettiOs, I like to call them. Basically, these are the ensemble models. Um, remember, every operational model, the models we typically show you here, uh, those are the average of all the little ensembles kind of put together within the global um, numerical output. And this just kind of shows you that the, some of the guidance is indicating off the east coast of Florida by the 13th into the 14th, something may be developing in that area. So mm, it, it, definitely worth watching. Uh, I know it's been a sort of a slow start to the season, especially compared to the last few years, but you know that overall the average first hurricane doesn't develop until about August 11th, and 90% of all tropical systems aren't until after August 1st. So yeah, the, the, it's that time of year where things do start to pick up. And of course, we're always going to continue to keep you posted here at First Coast News. Make sure you check out firstcoastnews.com, Hurricane Central, if you want more information on what's going on out here as we track the tropics. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.